next species that we're going to look at are two different types of peas. First is our forage type pea. Uh, these are uh, an indeterminate variety. Uh, as you look at these, uh, you can see that uh, they get very tall. They do not have very good standability in relationship to that, but that's a function of their overall lignin uh, or lignification process that has occurred. They continue to flower on the top and continue to grow taller, and that's part of the reason why this particular variety is extremely good for mixing with other species like your oats or some other cereal grain to help them stand more erect. The other thing about uh, in mixtures is that they wouldn't be planted quite this densely, but they uh, contribute a, a fairly good quantity of uh, protein to your mix and uh, work quite well in relationship to at least uh, uh, contributing nitrogen to the soil from the nitrogen fixation portion. This other variety is actually a type of grain pea. You can see uh, it would, uh, as you look down into it, there's not as much leaf uh, material and would not be as good in a forage mix just because uh, of that. And also the seeds uh, tend to get uh, mature much, much earlier. And so as you compare the two of these, uh, we really want to uh, stick with the uh, indeterminate type uh, of variety that continues to grow taller uh, as, the, as it matches up quite nicely with uh, the oats or other type of cereal grain that we've got it sown with, such as triticale.